Hello, folks. This is Mystic38 uh, in another random technical video. Uh, the topic today is machine and loopers, and specifically Mobius, and even more specifically, uh, uh, MIDI sync. Um, there's lots of people with drum machines, sequencers, MVs, MPCs, uh, Phantoms, Motifs, MC808s, 505s, the works that, you know, would like to use a looper either for their own music or, you know, the guitarist, um, you know, wants to get involved in, you know, add some layers. So there's a couple of hardware solutions, both of which are quite expensive, and I stumbled upon uh, Mobius um, after, you know, doing, uh, trying it out just straight in machine. And this is a really good piece of, uh, piece of software. It's freeware. Uh, by circulabs.com. He will accept donations, and uh, I think when you've tr played with it a little bit, I think you'll be very happy to, you know, slip the guy a few dollars for his efforts because it really is uh, extremely good. All right, from the top, uh, let's look at machine here. Uh, it's a very simple project. Uh, I've got group B, a single kick drum. Okay, that's all it's going to do just to give us some MIDI timing information. Okay. Uh, on group A, uh, what I've done is uh, instantiated Mobius, all right, then as this is a audio VST, then you need to direct, come to the sound tab, go to input, and put your external input um, in. In my case, uh, I have set this up uh, to be taking... Uh, taking the inputs uh, analog one and two, uh, I have a Moto A to A, so I have four uh, stereo pairs going in, and this is uh, the virus, okay? So uh, we're just gonna be recording a few patches from the virus. Uh, every patch I pick is going to have a tempo sync up, okay? So the virus is tempo synced to machine, uh, and hence uh, to, to Mobius as well, all right? So uh, this will allow us to, um, you know, really check uh, the whole MIDI sync part, um, you know, for drift and whatever. Uh, I had some loops running here for, uh, I left the house and it, I let them run for about five hours and everything was still running very sweetly when I came back. So I was very quite, quite impressed. Okay. All right. So that's all there is in, in machine, all right, uh, for the purposes of this project. Uh, what Mobius is, um, think of it as eight loopers. They call them tracks, but they're actually eight loopers. All right. Uh, each looper uh, uh, can have four loops. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, four loops down here. Uh, and each loop can have largely unlimited overdumps. Um, the loops do not have to be the same length. Um, what I'm going to go through in a second is just to discuss how I've set this up. Um, but I've basically gone for a measure minimum length, all right? And everything is quantized to the measure. Um, uh, starting recording, stopping recording, uh, switching from loop to loop, um, all of that is done on measure boundaries. You can make that free running if you like. You know, if you're a guitarist, just jamming by yourself. You don't need MIDI sync. Uh, you know, just um, just a foot pedal and off you go. All right. So there's eight loopers. Each looper can play one loop at a time uh, that it has inside it, but they can be of different lengths. So you could have you know, a 16-bar chunk and then an 8-bar chunk, uh, you know, and a 32-bar, you know, rhythm-free interlude sort of thing, okay? So if you look at that alone, that's a huge amount of complexity that's provided here. Uh, yet in addition to that, there's a bunch of effects, uh, reverse, speed up, speed down, all kinds of stuff, pitch up, pitch down, uh, slight increments and decrements of speed, etc., etc. We won't be covering any of the effects here. The purpose of this video is to get, uh, if you have Machine and Mobius, is to get it up and running, um, you know, directly, okay? So 
All right, let's take a look here. What do we have? We have control buttons across the top. Um, and we have the loopers across the bottom, uh, output level per looper. Um, then this is the information area of the screen. And what you want to see is that you need to see host as a sync source. And then you need uh, these two, the quantize and the switch, uh, to be cycle based. Okay, set it up exactly like this till you get it going. Then you can start playing with the configurations, um, you know, and start adjusting as, as you see fit. Okay, all right, so how do we set this up? We set this up in configuration track setup. All right, and the tracks, the sync source is the host, and the sync unit is the cycle. That's it. Synchronization, host is the source, loop is the unit. And this can the the sync unit from the clock can either be a beat or the bar. I left it at a bar just so that the timing would be all tight on measure boundaries. Okay, you can even say that there's four beats a bar. Okay, all right. So uh, that's good enough to get it started. Now let's think about how we would control this. One of the beauties of Mobius, it's uh, completely um, controllable via MIDI you know so if you have a foot controller you know you're in since I have machines sitting on the desk I'm just gonna quickly run through setting that up um, and um, so what do we have to do all right well first of all I'm gonna come over here and put I'm gonna put machine into controller mode and we're gonna pull up the control editor so what I did to set this up Whereas, uh, if you're familiar with a control editor, that's great. If you're not, it's really not that hard. Uh, all I did here is this is the default template, okay? You open it, and this is the default template. The only thing I did is I disabled, um, I disabled uh, the pad pages, okay? And uh, that's so that I get access to use these buttons. Uh, as uh, control information because there's eight blue buttons, a blue VST with eight things on it. Okay, so I'm using the group buttons here uh, to select the looper. I'm using the arrow buttons to go up and down the loops within the looper or track as they call it. I'm using record for record. Uh, arrays is reset, which resets that loop back to blank. Uh, mute and solo I've exercised. Undo and redo is here. And uh, I think I've also assigned the master volume. Excuse me. I've been drinking, so it's a couple of bit of the beer coming back up. Um, the master volume, which will adjust, uh, you know, the volume of the looper that you're in. If you're going to use these buttons, you do need to come over here to the right hand side and change the mode from the default which is toggle to gate okay so that's it so i will slide this over so that we can still see what's being pushed around over here okay and let's connect it up to the vst so here there's a plug-in input devices the machine controller in so that's taking data from the machine controller in controller mode uh, and sticking it into Mobius, all right? And then let's look at how we set that up. MIDI control. This looks like I was real busy. It's actually extremely easy, easy. Okay, you just select the function that you want, hit MIDI capture, push a button, and then hit new. So just to show I'm not pulling your wool over the eye, let's delete global reset, which is like the big red stop button for Mobius. Um, Pick global reset, put on MIDI capture, and because it's a big button, I'm going to hit note repeat. Okay, so you see note repeat came active here, it's captured. Uh, and then the bit I had to figure out by myself is you have to come over here and click new, and then this information gets passed on to your uh, binding table. Okay, all right, so I've mapped next loop. Uh, which is the up and down, redo, undo, etc., uh, etc. Et okay, so this is just basic functionality. I haven't really put any of the effects in at all. 
I just wanted to show this thing in operation. All right, so without any further ado, let's get, get machine started, okay? And um, uh, let me see, I, uh, I'm going to stick a bit of a bass, um, a bass on first, and we're just going to something very, very simple, you know, like some of those looper videos where all you see is the guy playing his music. Uh, all I'm going to focus on is getting this stuff running, all right? All right, so I think I hit the key reasonably well in time, okay? So that's uh, ARP is on hold, and I'm going to, when I push the record button, it will uh, w wait to synchronize on a measure boundary, okay? And just for the sake of argument, you know, you can, you can watch the beat counter here, or, you know, what I typically do is watch the scene progress bar, uh, on machine and as long as you get in there we go within the last measure and you'll see that the um, that the number of measures is incrementing uh, on the progress bar okay okay so you see here that it was four measures all right and that's now looping I've taken uh, taken the off off what we can do is, um, for the sake of giggles, let's um, go to the next loop down. Okay. And let's uh, put something else in. So that just shows you, you can just switch from uh, on, on a measure basis, okay? So you could actually put something musical there. I mean, heaven forbid. All right, so we'll let, we'll let that run. We'll turn the, turn the volume down a bit. Uh, just a demonstration. So now we'll move to a different looper, okay? And... So again, I'll stick uh, four measures in. All right, so, you know, they're kind of like rocking along. Let's find something else. How about um, some sort of arpeggiated pluck or something? What do you think? Yeah, that's one of my favorites up here somewhere. Yeah. And I'm just going to make this four bars again, okay? So you see. Uh, on the progress but one bar two bars shows up three bars and as soon as you hit four bars you can hit record again and then you know and then then you've got it so let's do s just something a little different So they just put this two bars, in. but it'll just keep looping and looping. Oh, turn the virus off. Okay, 
Okay, so you know that's you know cracking along really quite nicely. Okay, um, you know that's the basis of it. Let me, uh, let me do this smack the go over the stop. Um, uh, so you know what you can do here is you know once you got your loops running, of course you could uh, flip over back into machine mode and you know jam away you know with the drums and the patterns and everything there, you know. Um, so that's it. Um, I hope this has been of any help. If there's any simple questions, stick them in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Uh, go over to circularlabs.com. Uh, check it out. Um, I think it's a great piece of software and uh, well worth the effort. Mystic38 signing out.